So today we're gonna to be going over this monster Serverac solar battery here. 230 amp hours, 11,700 kilowatt hours at 48 volts, and this is from Orient Power. So I've been trying to get my hands on another one of these for quite a while, and I have finally been able to do it. I currently have one of these running our shop off-grid right now, along with a couple smaller batteries. And I've been looking to upgrade now that we have a tremendous amount of solar panels powering our shop. So since we have all that extra power that we're gathering from the sun, we need an additional battery to store it in. This should get me right where I need to be. So if you're into solar, let's take a look at this. This massive battery just dropped $500 on their website too. I don't know if that's a permanent price drop or on sale. I'll put a link in the description so you can go check that out. So for starters, we have a large 250 amp built-in circuit breaker. Dual positive and negative lugs so we can parallel into other batteries. And by the way, you can parallel up to 15 of these batteries from what I've seen on the website. And that would give you a massive 176,000 watt hours. I definitely don't need anywhere near that much. So let's go over some quick specs and then we're gonna look at this battery and do some testing on it. And even though this model is stated 48 volts at 230 amps, the rated voltage is 51.2. Again, 11,776 watt hours. Should you desire the communication, you have all these different communication ports via hooking up to software with a laptop or hooking up to an inverter that allows communication. We have our state of charge LEDs right here, run LEDs off and on, and our alarm LED. This is your power off and on button. This will kick on your battery management system, which is internal. We're gonna pop the cover off and take a look at what's inside. Now, as you can see, this is a big battery as far as lithium goes, but a much smaller, more compact battery compared to sealed lead acid batteries. So in case you're curious about some specs, just the case itself, you can see the handle stick out a little longer, 22 and a half inches long by 17 and a quarter inches wide. You're gonna want at least two people to help you lift this battery. So you got two handles on the side, two handles up front, and it does come with all the brackets and hardware to put in a server rack. Now you may wanna check out our main channel. I'll put a link down in the description because I'm currently building a fireproof enclosure for this battery along with another one of these and a 5.1 kilowatt hour battery. That's gonna be a fun build, so go check that out. So some quick specs before we pop the top off, take a look inside. I wanna see how the wiring layout is, if any changes have been made, because I've had my other battery for probably a year and a half now. So they claim up to 7,000 charges on this particular battery. That's a pretty high number based on a lot of stuff I've dealt with, and that's to 80% depth of discharge. If you're new to the industry, that means basically don't run the battery lower than 20% discharge for extended life of it up to those 7,000 charges. Now with that said, the beautiful thing about lithium technology is you can run it down to 0%, something you absolutely don't wanna do with lead acid batteries. Typically you don't run a lead acid battery less than 50%. Now the other beautiful thing about lithium is you get a very stable voltage all the way down until you just about kill the battery. Whereas lead acid constantly drops from the time it goes from 100% on down. So you're gonna get a much more stable system with lithium as well. Now, as mentioned, we're gonna take a look. You've got a BMS, that's a battery management system inside. That's pretty standard on all lithium batteries nowadays and you definitely need that. So whether you have too low voltage, too high voltage, whether it be your charging, maybe you've got an issue there, too high of temperature, too low of temperature, this system will take over and automatically cut that off. And you get all that information on this LCD screen right here. So you can come into your menu and get that BMS status, all your other information, your parameter settings, system settings, your voltages, your cell, individual cell voltages, that's nice, temperatures, all kinds of information in here. And as you can see, our battery's currently at 55.6% or 131 amp hours. So we're gonna need to charge this up. Now, while I do not recommend opening up the case of a battery, I'm gonna do that so you and I can take a peek at what's inside. That kind of tells a lot to me of how a company throws something together. Is it just thrown together? Are things nice and protected? Proper size wires in there, proper size connections. All right, so if we take a look on the inside of the case, here's your full battery management system, your wiring layout, some diagrams. That may be helpful for you. So let's take a look inside. Here is all of your cells nice and neatly stacked. And as you can see, these protective bars right here, which is your wire trays, are actually elevated quite a bit above the cell connections themselves. So that makes me feel good if you were to cave in the top or push it in. Looks like it's gonna make contact with these steel trays first. 
and I don't believe you'd ever make contact with the battery terminals. It appears they've been torqued and marked. That's what the red dots are. I like to go through and make sure nothing's loose. That lets me know everything's been torqued correctly. So down in here is your full battery management system. It's gonna be kind of hard to tell. Again, that's what monitors temperatures, voltages, keeps this system nice and safe, cuts it off and on when needed. And there is your communication ports and board down there. So I'd heard that a long time ago, the wiring was upgraded in these systems. I can't remember if I see four gauge wire in my other battery that's a year and a half old, but it almost feels like maybe this has been upgraded, but that could be me. Don't hold me to that, but good, thick, nice size wires here. Now, obviously when we're parallel and on the outside, putting multiple systems together, we're gonna run even thicker wire than that. Now just check the website. I don't see any stamping on the cells themselves and I'm not gonna take all this apart to pull one out. So I don't know the name if you're gonna ask that, but I could try to find that information out if you're curious. Everything's laid out nice and neat. Again, I really like the heavy duty steel wire trays. Doesn't like nothing can cave this in. Steel case, adequate size wiring. Everything looks wired, tied, nice and neat out of the way. Nothing looks sloppy here to me. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. Everything in wire looms. All right, at the end of the day, it's a battery. There's not much more to talk about other than how well does it perform. And lucky for you, I've been running one for a year and a half. I run this shop 24 seven off grid with Orient Powers inverters and batteries. And I can say I got my original battery and original inverter two years ago, and then upgraded to a split phase system with additional inverters, additional batteries a year and a half ago. And as you can see, the shop is still running 24 seven 365. So let me put this back together and explain one huge difference that I've seen because I've tested 5.1 amp hour batteries and uh, this 11.7 made a huge difference whenever it comes to running really large industrial type equipment. All right, so here we are in my solar equipment room and we're gonna run a test. I'm gonna show you how awesome this battery is. This is something I discovered a year and a half ago. So in this room, if you've been watching our main channel, watch the progression of it. I used to have three of these on the wall Orient Power batteries. By the way, here's my setup. Two Orient Power 6500 watt inverters. I've got them split face for 240 volts to run all kinds of stuff in my shop. 13,000 watts peak, 6500 watts continuous. And you can go up to three phase on these as well. But, but I used to have three of these on the wall batteries right here. So for 300 amps of power, more than the single battery I just showed you by 70 amps. And just to let you know, the same exact battery cells are in this. This is just an on the wall case versus a server rack battery, identical cells. Well, here's the thing. When I had 300 amps of batteries on the wall, I still could not start this 240 volt compressor right here. It has an insane surge on startup and it was kicking my system out. Well, anytime I want to run a major 240 volt appliance, I just swapped over to grid because I still have that ability in here. That was until I installed this battery I just showed you. So y'all, if you take a look at my system down here, I started adding server rack batteries. Here is the same identical battery, the 11.7 kilowatt hour battery. So when I added this, I actually took batteries out of here because I'm running another off-grid structure on our property. And lo and behold, I could weld I can start my big compressor, everything once this is in. You can see I've got this battery disconnected. Here's the cables. All I'm running right now is a Jacoper battery, which is also offered by Orient Power. By the way, same identical cells in there. That's the only way you're allowed to tie multiple batteries together if they have the same type of cells. These all do. 99.5%. It's 100 amp hours. This battery is also 100 amp hours, same type of cells. 98%, so we're pretty much fully charged. I'm gonna go kick this compressor on. All right, watch this. I'm trying to kick this compressor on. Let's see what happens. Look at there. Lights went out, system went into alarm. All right, we're gonna let everything reboot. Now I'm telling y'all, I've run other 240 volt appliances on the system. No issue, see how quick it restarted? There is something about this compressor. It's got an insane surge. I can literally weld with my big MIG welder off of those two batteries, but there's something about this right here. It is just a beast. 
All right, let's do this test again. And I disconnected battery cable so nobody could say that I was pulling anything. I'm, I'm really not trying to be misleading here. Same cells, there's just something about this package, probably the large size wiring in there, the way they got everything tied together, it's just extremely powerful. So I'm completely disconnected. I could have just thrown breakers off, but here we are. You can see I'm 99.9% .9 charged. We've got output going. Same test as before, all I got is a light running. By the way, I got freezers, refrigerators, and other stuff over there running, but that's minimal wattage. All right, let's see if it'll start. There's something about it. I know that's 30 more amp hours, but trust me, hopefully y'all can hear me. I'm telling you, I've run this test before with 70 more amp hours in that current battery. It's got to be the way that the whole package is set up with the dual four gauge wires going right to the lugs, just the way it all is in one package. It's an extremely strong battery. If I had my way, I would have two to three of that same exact battery right there. Well, now I've got two, and that would be my full off-grid setup. It's a strong battery. All right, so as you can see, after a year and a half of experience with this battery, zero issues and getting to really test it out in beyond real world scenarios. Most of you aren't running large compressors, MIG welders, and doing all the shop work that I do out here. These batteries get used 24-7, 365, and I can tell you after a year and a half of using this exact battery, it's been 100% worth it, and it is a beast. So now we're gonna be doubling this up changing our system around and building us a fireproof enclosure. Although lithium iron phosphate technology is quite safe, a lot of viewers have requested some sort of fireproofing, so we're gonna have fun with that. That's gonna be on our main channel, The Kelly's Country Life, links down in the description. By the way, if you wanna check out the current pricing on these, if I can provide any discount codes, anything available to me, I'll put down in the description and I'll try to pin a comment below as well. Go check them out. I think you'll really enjoy this battery. Catch you on the next one.